ready to throw down. Now this refined sugar is Missy Metcalf. She may look sweet, but she's one tough cookie. Just ask her daughter, Bitsy. Daughter? Why, I could have sworn. Two were sisters. Just like Mom, Bitsy's a sorority girl who likes pearls and long lunches in that order. This young buck is William Metcalf III. He's a nature lover who can hardly wait to meet his two new brothers. Uh, speak to Bitsy, please. This is Bitsy. <laughs> How are you doing? How good? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine, you know what it is. Um, uh, is this Red Man or is this Method Man? <laughs> no, no, I like them dudes, though. This Craig. This is Craig? Yeah, you remember me? No, I don't remember you, Craig. Same time you met Craig, you met me. Oh, the same time? Mardi okay, Mardi yeah, I kind of remember Mardi you. Mardi Gras <laughs> Yeah. Um. Yeah, we were sandwiching you. No, 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 you weren't. <laughs> that was a different person, I promise. <laughs> we going to see you in a minute. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh my God. <laughs> that is an average white family like fucking Brady's. Yo, they white as hell. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> William back out. Uh, what's going on, Lincoln? Yeah, how are you? Collar. Maybe you gotta do some more to get the glass dollar. Hotter than lava. Come on in, we'll show you around. Here's the dining room. <laughs> Kitchen. Your whole kitchen is bigger than my living room. My backyard. Like a little park back here. There's all kinds of business that gets conducted yeah. right here after dark. Yeah, it's, it's good stuff. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is the study in here. Who's that? That's Bill. That's Bill, that's Bill the pop. Yo, yeah. you know what this scene remind me of right here? What about Bob? <laughs> Dr. 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 Leo Marvin. Yeah, Dr. Leo Marvin. <laughs> yeah. Right there. Well, he's going to be here tonight. He, you know, somebody has to pay the bills around right here. This is Bitsy's room over there. This is William's room. So, which one my bed? This one? Big deer heads up here, bro. <laughs> Who this shot for, Gary Coleman? <laughs> yeah, I want to see where it all started at. Your room. <laughs> so what time is the big guy coming home? The big guy's at work. Um, he was going to come home this afternoon and be here for dinner tonight. What do you do, Miss Metcalf? <laughs> Besides sit around looking good. <laughs> no, madam. Oh, I um, play, play a lot of tennis. I play a lot of tennis. Enough small talk, Bitsy. You've got lunch reservations at one, and the girls are on their way. You're not going to wear that, are you? Now that's more like it. We always go to lunch with my five best friends. I can't wait to show these rappers a piece of New Orleans that they've never been able to experience before. I like those things, the <laughs> Finally, a place where Meth and Red can eat without getting recognized. Yeah, because you know we're trying. Split the shrimp from alive, then yeah. the blue crab yeah. cup. All right, I want to start off, right, with the baby yak hoof. <laughs> Which is that? Baby yak hoofs and, and, and bison snout. Oh. Like, looking at us, what do you think the big difference, like, how we were raised versus you? You know, you grew up poor. Oh, I don't give a f I think y'all, I think y'all had a more of a disadvantage. You do? Why? Yeah, because, um, I don't know. It's like growing up sheltered away from a lot of things because some of the questions okay, that y'all yeah. ask me is things that you know people around our way just assume yeah. already mm -hmm. know and shit, you know who have you enjoyed working with the most christina aguilera oh, yeah. you did that song early yeah, yeah. real i did it yeah. oh. last time we watched one of your videos how do you pick the ladies in your videos i yeah. like a nice woman's sweet. swagger she nice got sweet. a certain kind of swagger where they hips just click extra hard, you know what I mean? It's like bow, and they work that hand. Are you like a ladies' man type person? I was wondering, what, what's your taste? Legs and ass is very important to me. I'm not a <laughs> man. My big is, you have some big natural it's good. But you can have, I'd rather take little C cup than big fake I don't like that small. You know, and I like natural beauty. You know, just the hair down. You you ain't gotta be all that fly and cute. You could be cute as hell though. What about um 
like asses. What are you? I don't like no ass. I no? Like, yeah, I like a big ass. Why? Okay. With a little waist and a big what ass. What is that? Why yeah. do you guys like that? But it's shaking. Oh, <laughs> it. Hey, see, if you bend over right now, see, like one of y'all, y'all might have like a flat ass. See, I like an ass when you bend over. It's... Why do you like that? Oh, my God. <laughs> you like to back that ass up. Oh my god, we're gonna start thinking of Back that ass up. Yeah, and the show. girls are like shaking their little ass thing. Well, they shaking the big ass in that ass. <laughs> you know. Why are you, I'm kidding, you just like that, huh? Because it's good and it's sex too as well. <laughs> you know, when you're hitting it from the <laughs> and they're shaking, you look at all that <laughs> and it make you arrive oh quicker. <laughs> no, I'm, oh my god. I'm telling the truth, it'll make Maybe you arrive. I'm gonna say <laughs> on the <microphone. laughs> That's what I'm saying, arrive, you know, and it make you arrive. Oh after a three-hour lunch, the girls take meth and red to Bourbon Street, shopping for some jewelry. Damn, do you see the size of the knees on that right now? Look at that Damn! It may not be ice, but it sure has the same effect. I'll give you these, you gotta show me some so. Oh, these locals are right friendly. <laughs> I want the flash of you. the flash I'm gonna show you. The boys look like they'd be perfectly happy spending the rest of their stay on Bourbon Street. But all that's about to change. Dad's home. Hey guys! We finally get a chance to meet. How are you doing? How are you? Hey, hey! <laughs> Welcome to the Metcalf House. Good to see you. Now, wait a minute. Where'd you guys get those beads? Well, I've got a of in there. You're kidding. Those look great. Right. I've never seen them that big. We're delighted to have you, and, and we're glad that you're here because you'll have a lot of fun, and it'll give us a chance to show off New Orleans. Hey. Yeah, I tell you that much. I've been having a good time already. And you got a beautiful home. That's right. Beautiful home. Now, I got a dumb question. Which one of you is Method Man? Red Man. Red, Red man, man, Method Man. Does everybody call you? John John. Method John, Man? No, no John, John, John John. Okay. John, John. Now, what everybody do they call you? Call you can call me Reggie. No, it's who easy is... for you to call me Reggie. So are you Reginald? Uh, Reginald. Uh, Reginald. Uh, Reginald, is that the real name? <laughs> now, that is huh? too... That's probably too yeah. formal. No. Well, I had your CD on in my car. Yeah. Driving up. And I had it, I had it pumping. And I bumped into some guys coming down yeah, here. Bump it. <laughs> <laughs> you said bump it. He's stumbling. Oh, he said bump it. Come on, come on. I just want to kind of get myself in the mood to meet you and uh, say hello to the family. I'm officially welcome you here. Hey, thanks, thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it, man. Oh. Let me tell you the end of the night for me. I'm going to bed. Tonight, they're living under the Metcalf's roof. And like it or not, see, the Metcalf's. They have rules. I ain't tired right now, man. What you wanna do? Stop playing. You gotta draw like Eve in that motherfucker. All this when crashing with Method Man and Red Man continues. Meth and Red spent their first few hours in New Orleans surrounded by bells, thieves, and boobs. But all that's about to change. Meet Grandma Mare. She just had to stop by and see what all the fuss was about. I heard, oh Lord. Bless her heart. Now you've heard a lump, Cradney. She knows how to find a lump. Now take that, heat that down. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. She is tearing it down. <laughs> Take a bite. And with that stuff on it too already? That's the fat in your juice. Uh, the fat in the juice? You want right. to put, put it on my neck a little bit? But like, what do you think? And isn't it fun going to see how other people eat? Mm hmm <laughs> You know what? It ain't no different because y'all greedy just like me. <laughs> Meanwhile, Upstairs in the bedroom. Now, William Metcalf the Third, you know the rules. No platinum before dinner. <laughs> Trying to clown me, bro. Sexy ass. This is Willie's girl, Molly. She just happened to stop by for dinner. You make me 
pretty horny, baby. You're the one of the things that I like the most, because you know what? The best concert that I ever saw was the Blackout Tour my freshman year with you and Red. When you and him jumped up on the stage, like, yeah. that sh was rocking. True that. She alright, bro. You can tell. You can just tell she got that swag I was talking about earlier. You know what I'm saying? Man, he's up on the charm. That's Willie's girl. Grandma Mare wasn't scared to teach this young whippersnapper a thing or two about crawdads. You can tell they're fresh when their eyes are bright like that and they're fierce. Wow. Got the eyes and nose and mouth and everything, huh? She even learned a thing or two herself. My, that corn is the bomb. <laughs> Basically, um, we're working. Bomb? Yeah. Bomb is not bad. Bomb means good. Bomb is the bomb. See, bomb means good. Until we all learn to love each other, there will never be peace. Until we all learn to respect each other first. First. When we respect each other, then we can love each other. Well, y'all are getting kind of heavy over there. Meth, you're a guest in this house. Now put down those dishes and go join the party. Now y'all catch me when I'm dancing. Let's show me the go, 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 Oh, that's the song that was I had on the radio. This is cool. Come on, brother, get out of here! It's all about the volume, man. Well, I'm glad we're not filming that here tonight. I'm going to bed. It's 11.30 p.m. and our kind hosts are starting to look a bit tuckered out. Time to get some shut-eye. That means everyone. I mean, I want them to have fun. The last time these two went to bed this early, they weren't expected to sleep. I ain't tired right now, but the top of my hat is bumping. I probably need to clean this bit. What time you think it is right now? What you want to do? I don't know, man. Ain't nothing in here we can get into. And hey, yo, jaw. Stop playing. You got a jaw like Eve in that month. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hold up. All right? <laughs> you let a wild animal like this go in this house, he'll tear this whole house apart. <laughs> the mother. 24 beers in a case. 24 hours in a day. Coincidence? The Metcalf family is up and at them. 18 hours of sleep wasn't enough for meth and red, but it's plenty long enough according to Missy. Anybody up, up there? I don't hear you. Hello? It's about 11.30. Breakfast is ready. Talk to me. Easy, Missy. I hear you. Now you're even starting to get on my Method. nerves. Method man. They picked up the phone and hung up on me. <laughs> That's one way to shut me down. <laughs> Hello? Are you awake? Okay. Okay. Sound asleep. Oh, look, they, they have the phone off the hook. <laughs> Come on down. We're going to be late. It's almost 1 o'clock. Red man. Method man. Where are you? It's almost four heading. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right, buddy. I never even had my own room to this day, man. No, I still right, sleep buddy. on the couch, dude. The but most of the time when I stay in hotel rooms, my bed is never touched because I fall asleep on the couch. Yeah. If there is one in the room, right there? I can't help it. I'm just ghetto. I like sleeping on the <laughs> couch.
Our boys are performing on MTV's Mardi Gras this afternoon, but Big Willie and Little Willie aren't about to let them leave without a crash course in Southern style. Big Bear. Good to see you. This way y'all go to get your hair cuts at? No, but every now and then we'll treat ourselves to go here and get a shave. The old style barbershop is really a thing of the past today, but there's a place called Aiden Gills that every now and then will allow ourselves the treat to go get an old style barber shave and that's a great spot to do it every southern gentleman knows you can't get a really close shave with a really hot towel here we go you pick? here we go and on to the top if it's too hot yeah it's good you could oh yeah I couldn't believe the amount of smoke coming off your face. <laughs> <laughs> this final towel is considered by some people to be slightly cooler. Brace yourself. Now you're called the ice man. <laughs> this is about 52 degrees ice station zebra. You took it like a man, man. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm an all right looking dude, you know, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> They got my face clean, smooth, like a baby ass. No one in the South would let an occasion like this go by without taking a family portrait. <laughs> you didn't think they'd let them wear just anything, did you? That was dope. I like that. A seersucker suit is an, an exceptionally common uh, dress for uh, a businessman in the summer in New Orleans. It's an exceptionally cool suit to wear. Obviously, cool has a different meaning down here in the South. You like the shoe? I like the shoe. The sneaker it is. It looks, I mean... No, 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 I think no, they no, look no, fun. No, 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 and they comb the hair just the same way that I do. Now let's do a fun one. Do you? Yeah. If I had to encapsulate what it's like to be a southerner in New Orleans, it would have to be an attitude of gentility, an attitude of sincerity, and the third thing is just a certain sense of style. Although most people would pay to see Meth and Red in seersucker suits, they weren't about to wear them to the show. We love having, we love having you in our house. This has been such a great experience for us. I'm nervous. We're getting ready to go to the concert for tonight, and um, they've been in my world, and now I get to see them in their world. Oh, no. Get up on in there, man. Samuel Willie, you get your butt up on in there, too, man. Everybody in. William Sr., William Jr., Missy, Bitsy. Remember to buckle your seatbelts because you're in for quite a ride. Enjoy the show. Yeah. Hey, let's go. Let's okay. Time for the concert. to meet somebody. These are the families we stayed in out here. Meet the Metcalfs right here. They showed us some love and let us stay in their home out here. MTV, the Metcalfs. underneath it all they're just big kids having fun doing what they like to do when they came into our home they were um, respectful of our values and we were respectful of their values and that's what it all comes down to you look at them they look like the typical white family but it was, it was more to it than that when we really got to know them and stuff they funny as hell i felt i felt welcome in their home their image their clothes their styles it's a mask like we masqueraded mardi gras we really are all the same and struggle with a lot of the same issues. That's love right there. It's man. Turns out there's a little rapper and a little dapper in each and every one of us. I was going to, but we wrong, slaying the ball, slap back, back in the face.